Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, I'm tired of my husband taking me for granted. The thing with this is, you're only taken for granted if you allow yourself to be taken for granted. Your husband's learned to have expectations because he can. He has learned a way to get what he wants and it works wonderfully for him. You're all of a sudden now, you know, a couple years later, starting to feel a little bit used and a little bit frustrated that you're not getting as much out of the relationship as he is. But if you have some boundaries and some expectations on what you want from your husband, you can make this reciprocated relationship work really well. What usually happens is sometimes a little manipulation comes into play without anybody really even realizing it's happening. And then before long you realize, okay, I'm the one that does this, 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 this around the house. And you're sitting here going, well, what are you doing? How come I have to do all this? And they're taking advantage of your kindness, of your availability. But you've got to stop this from happening. You, the biggest thing that you can do in a relationship is have communication. If you don't talk together, and I mean together, not one person talking at the other person, have some some situations where you sit down and you really listen to each other and, and, and what each other has to say. Because that's the way a relationship works long term. When people say, how, how have you made it work so long together? We talk. We communicate. And the biggest thing of all, we listen. We listen to what each other needs, what each other wants. It's not about just what you want or what they want. It's about figuring it out, how you can make it so that it's really nice to come home. It's super nice to come home because you take care of each other. It's nobody's job to take care of one person and the other one just sits there and, and on their throne and takes it all. It doesn't work like that because we all know what happens to these long relationships when this has gone on for too long and the one person is feeling, you know, suffocated or smothered or they're feeling like um, they can do no wrong and they get bored. You want to have a relationship where you're both on the on the same page of respecting each other. That's the key. So if you're always there for someone and they can do no wrong, think about it. Like would you want to be with somebody like that? Like sometimes we have to put the shoe on the other foot and say how would I feel? Would I really want to be that controlling over somebody? Would that make my my day and make me feel like I'm in this really healthy relationship? Maybe for a while it sounds pretty good to be spoiled and all that. But in the long run, do you really want to be with somebody that in, in such a lopsided relationship where somebody's more controlling and the other one is starting to feel weaker in the relationship? Don't give anybody that much room. You want to be able to be there for them and give to them when you feel like maybe they're not, they're having a down day and you're giving more to them for that, maybe that day or that week. But if it's not coming back to you and you're getting the same sort of you know, behavior back from them. That's what makes you feel sad and lonely in, in a relationship. And then you start getting mad and you fight back saying, I'm being taken for granted. But by then it's kind of late because you haven't had that many expectations and told them to kind of back off and to, to be there for you too. And so it becomes a learned behavior. Again, they can't do anything wrong because you do everything for them. So if you're having a situation like this and you're feeling taken for granted, it's not too late. You can sit them down and say to them, this isn't working anymore. I, I, it's my own fault. I've let things go. I need to pick it up again where I respect myself. Because if you're not respecting yourself, it's not going to be long before they don't respect you. So if you keep sort of kissing somebody's butt and doing everything for them, yeah, eventually you're going to get so fed up and you're going to get mad, you're going to rebel. And what's going to happen there? You're going to end up splitting up. So you're mad right now, so take the time now to express yourself to them, to your husband and say, this isn't right, we need to correct this because I'm not happy. Anyway, I want you to respect yourself. That's first and foremost. Never let anybody walk over you. Because if you become sort of needy and clingy to them, it's not going to work out anyway. They want to be with somebody that's got a bit of backbone. 
and somebody who has their own boundaries and, and life foundation. They don't want really to be, you know, putting you on this kind of pull, like pulling you along and making you do everything for them. Nobody really wants that. So stand up for yourself. Thanks everyone for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Please leave your comments and subscribe to the channel here. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.